Hey, FBC family, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're enjoying gathering together to worship during your family worship time. Here's your family worship guide for this week. Our scripture memory verse for the week comes out of James chapter 2. It's verse 1. My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. I challenge you this week, try to memorize this verse. As you read it a couple of times, we hope that you enjoy the song that we've picked out for you and your family to sing together during your worship time. But he brought me and oh his love for me Oh his love for me Who the sun sets free Oh is free This week we're studying James chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. Pause the video, have someone in the room read this text out loud. Now that you've read James chapter 2, verses 1 through 9, we can begin to dive a little bit deeper and look at what this text is really saying. 
James had spent a lot of chapter 1 encouraging these churches. He's writing to them. They've been spread out. They're isolated from each other. He's writing and encouraging them to keep going forward, to let their relationship with Christ grow. He's reminding them of what they should be doing. And then in chapter 2, he gives a little bit more of some practical advice and instruction for these churches. He says, don't show favoritism. Don't look at the rich man and favor him more than you do the poor man. And so the question is, well, do we do that? Do we show favoritism at times? And I think the answer is not one that we like to, like to say out loud. I think sometimes we can be at fault of showing favoritism. So the discussion questions you're going to have are going to lead you to some of these conversations where maybe we are at fault. Maybe we do show partiality and favoritism to other people. And maybe we're wrong in doing that. And so it's going to challenge us to reevaluate how we treat people, to reevaluate how we love people, and hopefully, hopefully, give us some encouragement for going forward and loving our neighbor more than ourselves. But more than that, loving our neighbor and seeing them the way that Christ has instructed us to and the way that Christ has shown us how to do. Now that you're done with your discussion time, the last thing of, of the evening is a time of prayer. Spend this time together, maybe have somebody different lead it each week, but spend this time together enjoying the chance and opportunity we have to, as a family, pray together. 